27 times 5. I'll never be able to solve this problem. 27. 27 times 5, it's too much for my mind. I, I can do it. I just feel like a storm in my head. Like, let's see. 27 times 5, it's, um... Wow. Wait a minute. Who's this? It's me, your brain. My brain? I didn't know I had one. You have a brain just like everyone else. I may be little, but I'm all yours. All right. You just don't use me enough. Oh, really? So why don't you do this? How much is 27 times 5? Let's see you solve this. Come on, you can do it. Today, we are not going to be making just any old statues. Oh, no. We are going to be making mystery numbers. And you in the audience, you guys get to be our mystery detectives. This side of the audience has to guess what number Team 1 is making. And this side of the audience has to guess what number Team 2 is making. You will have one minute to build your statues. Team number two, we have a circle down here, and a circle up here. What number is this? It is an eight. Give yourselves a round of applause. Once upon the last night, Mom told me that no matter what, I'm not allowed to touch those two eggs on my plate. Also, Mom said that I'm not allowed even to think of those yummy 37 olives. Hold it there, someone will come and help you. Hold it together, it's a 37 magic. Look at that, let's give them a nice hand. Thank you. Today, Brittany Green is turning 10 years older than her husband, Mr. Green. So, how old are you? 80. 80 is right, clap those hands. Now, Mrs. Green, you were in that van that left here at 6 a.m. and it took three hours of driving to get to your hotel. So can you please tell the court, what time did you arrive at your hotel? Nine. Nine, is that right, Judge? Give her a round of applause. Now, little three-year-old, you wanted to buy your grandma a present for her birthday. It's round, it's shiny, and you can put it on your finger. What do you think it is? A ring. A ring, yes, but the original price of this ring was $26. She got that same $26 ring with her father's credit card for half off or 50% off. So if the original ring was 26, but you only paid half of that, how much do you think you paid for that ring? $3. How much? $13. 13's right, clap those hands! Ready, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, boom! Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, boom! Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Here on stage, we have Team One 
And team two. Here's the question. If a chicken lays two eggs in one day, how many eggs will it lay in three days? Yes. Six. Six? That is correct. Very nice job. Give them a round of applause. Very nice job. Your question. If I bought one dozen donuts, how many donuts would that be? What is the answer? Twelve donuts. Twelve donuts? That is correct! Make some noise for them! This is little Kevin. Now, Kevin is not five years old. The five represents how many minutes it takes Kevin to cross this long one-mile bridge. It takes Katie 10 minutes to cross this long one-mile bridge. With this flashlight, two of our members are going to be holding it because there's another problem with the bridge. It's very old, not very strong. If more than two people cross at any one time, the bridge is going to... I didn't say it. I didn't say it. You get the idea. So that's our problem. Can you shout out two family members' numbers to cross this bridge first? 20 and 5. Okay, 20 and 5. Cross that bridge! Cross that bridge! Cross that bridge! You know what? The bridge is going to collapse in 60 minutes or less. So that's our problem. We have to save our family in 60 minutes or less. I'm going to show you now that math is really cool and fun. Each one of you is going to change your real name because you're coming up with a new name for yourself. After you choose your new name, you have to come up with a topic for your cable show. During your show, you have to use numbers and math like distance, sizes, uh, anything you can think of to show us that we use math in everyday life. One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers. You, after you cover the plant with dirt, you go and find a gallon water container. You fill your gallon with water. Then you go back into the middle of the court and you hold your racket again 180 degrees and wait for that ball to be turned. As it be turned, you can go to the right or you can go to the left depending on where the ball goes. <laughs> Give them a big hand, please. Oh, I thought the show was terrific. I was very enthusiastic, and the interaction between the children and the audience was fantastic. Hey, I work for PS88. I'm a paraprofessional in second grade, and the show was magnificent. Hey, uh, the children really enjoyed it. It was very funny, and it was very educational. I like the show um, because I, I like to learn math a lot. And it was great. When I went up on stage, I was shaking. Oh, me and my best pal worked together and we made it. That's what I liked about the show. <laughs>